everyone, Kiki here. Um, we're on episode nine. Ah, uh, we're on episode nine. Oh my god. So, uh, clearly, uh, Asaki's father, Makoto, sent us a, uh, message with the Shishiki me um, if you don't remember from the last episode uh, the father was having an issue and or, well actually he was sick and now that uh, something's wrong with the doggy so let's get to it okay guided by my courage Shikazemi I rushed to the Himura shrine when I entered the main building I found the doggy and the current intensely staring at one another I could tell that they were about we're about to talk something serious, so I felt apprehensive about saying anything. While I was wondering about in confusion around the entrance, Asaki looked over my direction and puzzled me as if he had noticed me. Wow. Um, Asaki. Uh, Kiki, what are you doing here? Asaki said. Asaki, to tell the truth, they even bat an eye at first when he called me Kiki, but I was immediately taken back when it all sank in. The Shikakumi from earlier also called me Shino. I tickled Asaki with a wink and fluster as if he caught on what I was doing. Asaki began to clear his throat in a completely unnatural manner. So, uh, Gina, what brings you here? I, um, hmm. There is nothing for you to worry about. Names or genders are trivial. Okay, uh, that's good to hear. McCurran looked at his mouth gently. I called him here, or rather, I call, or would you rather, I say, her. I wanted her to hear about your situation as well, Asagi. Okay. The current spoke as if he had it all figured out. Um, I could could not even fathom how much a designer would be able to uncover about. Mm, there are very or smart cookies. However, there are were two things that I could gather from the mood. I gathered that the current somehow was able to figure out my secret and that he didn't see it as a problem. Uh, that's not important right now. What's important is what Sagi has to say. Without <sighs> without a legend to being called her. I sat down by Asagi's side. Perhaps really the same way I was, Asagi sat straight up with a calm expression on his face. Now, Asagi, would you ask me why you don't want to 
don't. Ah, you asked me why you don't have the strength necessarily to be a demeanor. You asked, also asked for guidance, correct? Yes, I did everything I could Im imagine to prove. However, it would be an honor if you could tell me where I have been lacking. I actually wondered about that tool. His huggy eyes were. <sighs> the epitome of serious. Seriousness. Makarin looked at Asaki and creased his almost sorrow eyes. There is something I need to tell you in regards of deficiency in your performance. What do you mean? You're not weak as you. you uh, you are not as weak you think you are. It's just that your powers still have not awakened yet, Asagi. The key to your awakening is sealed in the cave behind the Amora Shrine. It is just that your powers still have not awakened yet. Were there there was now a glimmer of hope. Saki and I looked at each other. So if I go there, then will my powers be fully awakened? Well, it does actually good to know that he's not weak that he thought he was. It's just that fully awakened so that's that's good to know the current silently nodded Pataki carefully choose his next words before before continuing so if my powers will awaken then I will be able to perform prayer rituals and use spells like you uh, that, that, I think that's the gist of it. I, I, I think so. I think that's the gist of it. Um, but I think that's what happens when you fully awake your powers. When they're sleeping dormant. The Quran once again nodded in silence. So basically, I will not be burdened to, uh, Will not be a burden to the head family anymore. They should at least stop complaining about your lack of ability. Well, that 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 seems a little bit better. Zaki briefly inhaled and began to ponder himself about something. But something doesn't seem right about this. I have been to that cave multiple times before and nothing has happened. So why now then? Saki directly asked with a unchanging unchang serious expression. Rikurin looked at, right at Saki and me and gently creased his eyes. The time has come, Saki. <laughs> exactly, Saki. What time has come? What do you mean? What? What? Okay. Okay. So. Alright. We're going to explain suddenly stop there. Okay. It did not seem like he was going to say anymore on the matter how puzzled it's actually appeared to be. In the, the midst of deep silence, Saki seemed to be thinking to himself. Saki eventually lifted his head back up as if he were over whatever he had been worried about. 
So I guess that means I just need to go and find things out for myself. As I turn back, turn his back to my current and face me. Alright, Kiki, let's go! Huh? Where are we going? Uh, I, I think... To the cave! Where else? Don't you think you can talk your way out of it either? Fight, 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 come on! You... You are... Oh. What? Okay, 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 okay. So you're taking me to this cave for... Are, are, are you a sissy or something? Or do you want my time? Or... Yeah, let's, let's, let's just go with him. I glanced over to at McGurn. He gently smiled and nodded back at me. Okay, I guess it's... Probably... Reasons why, I, I I think one of the reasons why, uh, it didn't work before, for him to have his powers awakened before, was I wasn't in the picture. Well, the character wasn't in the picture. Um, and now that the character or we, the character that we play, uh is now in the picture and um it it his time is now to be awakened because of we're in the picture like we're you know uh instructor and student uh, friends ish um People that knows each other's secrets, you know, that kind of thing. So, I, th I think that's that's my theory of like why his powers weren't awakened is because our character wasn't with him, and I think. He needed that, um, I, I, I guess, that, anyway, thinking of needing the partner, and my, I, I keep thinking about, you know, Nejima, and, uh, how Neji is a wizard, and in this case, Asagi is a diviner. It almost almost the same thing but not really and I, I think w with with Neji at some point to um, better himself with uh, being like Neji's dad um, and becoming a better wizard he will uh, need a partner or Pactio or something you know, and I think, in in a way, uh, it's what's happening with Asagi. He to awaken his powers to better himself. I think he needed that person to help out. You know, so I I I think that's that it kind of ties in. So. Uh, that was when I made my mind, my, my mind up. I'll go with you. I'll make sure I don't get in the way. You don't need to worry about that when I'm with you. I'll protect you no matter what happens. Okay. You, you have the, these moments, Azagi. You have these freaking moments where, yeah, you know what? Uh, it's okay. I can protect you. You're a woman. It's okay. And then when I try to come compliment you, it's like it's like you go, what the fuck? How dare you? Go away from me. Just leave me alone. 
what's wrong with you kind of moment. And then, and then you get these other moments where you tease me and taunt me. And it's basically, you're giving me mixed signals here, Saggy. What the fuck? You need to calm your shit. Seriously, you really need to calm your shit. Being treated like a lady in such neutral manner made me feel a bit surprised, but at the same time, I was alligated. After making a f fresh resolve, I followed closely behind Asaki, who began to leave the room. I s suddenly looked back at Makoto to find him smiling in an indescribable manner as he watched us leave. Oh, Jesus Christ. Asagi continued to walk quickly without turning back. I shook my head and jogged after Asagi to keep up. Before long, we had reached the cave before, behind the shrine. There was a crystal aurora of tranquility in the air, and I intensively grew timid. Uh, Kiki, come on. Asagi grin grinned at me and continued to smile as we entered the cave. His profile was that of a man who was determined to save the immoral shrine. Yeah, well. Seeing Asagi so far. Yeah, it, it, could you blame him? Really? Um, as Asagi, Asagi's powers finally awaken, then what would put all of his worry as ease? He no longer have to worry about causing Mukarin any anxiety, and he would no longer have to worry about inheriting the shrine. I walked inside the cave so that I would not let not get left far behind wow just wow a chilly calm air was gently flowing through the cave Asaki used his shikigami to light up the dim path all I could hear was in this primal cave were the sound of our footsteps. We continued to walk in silence for a while. I felt that now was not the right time to ask Asaki anything if if I did have any questions. Just when I was just what was waiting for us at the end of the path it was right when I mustered up the courage to ask him. A shadow suddenly ripped through the tranquil air of the cave and came leaping towards us to attack. Everything happened so suddenly that I wasn't able to jump out of the way in time. Asaki jerked me over by the hand and the shadow flew right by me, barely missing me. What was that? That's one of the the seals that pretended protects the this cave. Only sacred weapons can be used to get rid of them. A Good to know. Um, do you have these weapons, Sasaki? Um, if you do, please, you know, use them. Sasaki then opened his iron fan and created a few willow the wisp around me. 
you should probably have your weapon purified as well sometime. Wait, so has everyone in the vigilante had their weapon purified? Only I have. Oh, thanks for that, Azagi. You could have said anything before I got into the cave. Well, we got into the cave. After Azagi spoke in his unusual laid back calm manner, he prepared himself for the approaching shadow heading this way. He stood in front of me pr to protect me and took a step forward toward the shadow. The shadow moved in an inhumane way and immediately ran away. It looked like this like a dark snake floating through the air. It could bend and twist in so many different ways that there was no way to predict how it would move next. However, it looked like I was the only one that was unable to, to predict its next move. It was Asagi was having no trouble and swiftly responding to no matter which way it turned. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. And I thought the shadowy, the shadow was going to turn down again. Asagi stopped in its track, changed direction he was facing and swung his fan. The shadow which was going after me because of how so my reactions were was burned into the flames of Asagi's Shigigami. After confirming this for himself, Asagi summoned more Shigigamis as he cornered the sh shadow with his fan. Scorn. Jesus. Each movement he made was a work of art. It was as if he was performing a dance every time he used his iron fan in battle. Saki almost immediately took care of the shadow and then slowly exhaled and put his fan away. I had this on my mind quite a while now, but... Saki, you're an amazing martial artist. You got to be one of the best in the Vintilanti, in Vintilanti, if not the best. I was completely blown away by his performance, so the words just naturally flowed from my mouth. Saki slightly averts his gaze away from me. Everyone used to tell me how inexperienced I was as a divinator, so I trained extra hard as a ninja to make up for it. Saki never tries to run away from the truth, even when I try to figure out about the secret of his. Instead, he works hard to deal with the problem. And he had already told me how hard he had been working to improve himself for the longest time. That was so like Asaki to do something like that. I felt that this was one of Asaki's good points as well. What are you smirking at? Come on, Asaki, uh, he said. Jesus Christ, man. Ah. Now, I'm not smiling about anything. That's not what your face is telling me. It's always so easy to tell what you're feeling. Re really? 
really. A saggy stretch behind his head in slightly embarrassed manner while he continued to walk. It appeared as if it were still ways to go before we reached the back of the cave. The cave was considerably deep and we were attacked by fear, uh, uh, various shadows along the way. I tried to help Asaki as much as I could, but since my weapon had been terrified yet, there was no, not much I could do. Therefore, Asaki basically defeated every, each and every shadow all by himself as he protected me. Still not appearing to be tired in the slightest, Asaki finally reached the altar in the deepest depth of the cave. While I was thinking about how hard Asagi must be training a bitch black shadow different from all those we had seen so far suddenly stood before us. Asagi immediately stood in front of me to protect me as he spread his iron ribbed fan open. However, the shadow did not appear to be hostile. It gradually transformed in the shape of a person. Is that the god of the land? Okay, what, what's, what's the god of the land? The, what do you mean, the god of the land? Jesus Christ, man. It's the god that resin resides in the lands of Nagasaki, one of the gods worships at the Himaro Shrine. Apparently a god, Sato Vito to the Himaro Shrine had appeared before us. The humanoid figure gently emitted a sound along with a faint flickering light. Um, the god of the land says, look before the altar. Sagi and I took a glance what was in front of the altar. There was a white, a well, pure white card. Shed the, uh, okay. Shed the blood of a pure man over that talisman. Saki and I looked at one another hearing those words. The blood of a pyramid, it looks like we're going to go all the way back. Oh well, let's head back, Kiki. So, uh... I grabbed Asaki's sleeve and timidly opened my mouth. I know I'm not a Shinto priest or anything, but do you think my blood would be okay? The moment I suggested that, Asaki had overcome me with surprises. Sur surprise. Then after checking the altar once more, he shook his head. I don't know uh, do if you use your blood or, or something happened to you. I'd rather beg the head family to introduce someone else to help out instead. <laughs> That's the last thing I want you to do. I felt almost like if you overcome with some sense of responsibility and I insensibly and persist. What are you going to say to them that you got on your knees and begged? I thought you, you're still not getting what need them from, from your powers awakened. Wow. 
looks like you hate the head family more than I do. <laughs> hate what I hate. So, wow. I pointed it pouted sudden thank you to let out a picture laugh and shake his head. Kiki, I don't want to see you hurt. I appreciate what you're doing, but I want to help you, Saki. But hey, it wouldn't be so bad if I got hurt doing something for you. I, My straightforward response left a Saki lost for words. After standing in silence in short moment, Saki deeply exhaled. All right, you win, but you better tell me if something happens to you. Promise? I promise. Jesus Christ, Sasaki. Ah. All right. That is very interesting. So, uh, the next episode or next bit will be uh, using Kiki's blood to help Asagi out and see if I, I'm a pure maiden. Um, I mean like it might help him anyway and like since we're there you know so, but anyway, I hope you guys like, I hope you guys comment, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!